Okay. So. This is my first time ever doing anything like this. And. I don't know how this is going to go. But I do hope it goes well. So, with that being said, my name is Lynette. And I am 41 years old. And I struggle with mental health illness. Apparently, I've always struggled with it. But it didn't become more and more relevant until after every child I had and the last one that I really like exploited. I had to get on meds and everything. So pretty much my whole entire life I was cool. I learned how to survive, you know, do what I had to do, whatever the case may be. But um yeah, that last little one was definitely a handful for me. So these past like four or five years it's been a struggle and it's been hard and these last two have been even more intense for me and for the first time ever I ended up in a psychiatric ward I started to realize I gotta make some changes and some things have to I guess change you can say and some of those things were the simple fact that um hey chick you need pills to survive. You need therapy to get by. You need to realize that no matter how much you don't like counting on people or like people in general, yeah, in order for you and the kids to survive, there's a lot of stuff you gotta do. That was a struggle for me because I never had to take medication unless there was something wrong with me. And outside of that, like, I've struggled always managed to bounce back off my feet but this time I just couldn't do that um so I decided that was just like a little background please don't mind if I ramble on or if I take you here or there and then back there again I hope that you guys do understand that um I too have ADHD and ADD like my kids which is kind of where they get it from it's hereditary, so they get it from me. Um, because all three of my kids have different fathers. So, that was like a little small background. But, anyways, I... Somehow, it was been weighing on my shoulders, on my spirit, on my heart, whatever. That there's a lot more people out there dealing with situations like me. But because mental health is something that we really don't talk much about. Or it's not something that anybody is proud to be like. Unless you're joking... You know, I'm certified crazy, I got papers, like, you can't do that to me, or, you know, whatever, whatever, all the blah, 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 and rah, 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 most people do, but in reality, reality, for those who actually have it and deal with it, it is very difficult, and it's not something that you kind of really want to acknowledge, or not something you want the whole world to know, so it's hard to live with it, and then when in my shoes, I have two other kids who also have, and then to top it off, they clash with each other, so, oh my god, my house be like war, war zones, and the funny part is, the two-year-old be trying to be the referee, I just be like, who's hollering at? You love them? <sighs> They're your kids. You will not forget that, and just breathe. I think I'm playing and you may think I'm joking but there's a lot of times that I do have to tell that to myself because if I do not my bipolar will kick in and I will just literally flip and completely forget that I'm talking to my child like which sucks sometimes it really does um I don't know if my condition's hereditary or Personally, I say it is. I strongly believe that my mother's bipolar. Who I don't speak with and have no contact with. Um, I also believe that my abuela was bipolar as well. I loved her. She drove me crazy, but I loved her. Um, but in my family, like, 
it's not that we don't believe in conditions or mental health because we knew we had mentally um challenged you know members or things like that but in my family's kind of like your condition didn't define you so you were who you were because of you you were still expected to accomplish everything that everybody else accomplished um my grandmother was an educator she had her doctorates so she raised us with you know you're either getting an education or you're going to the military pretty much and she never expected any less from us she always like she had high standards really high standards so In order to get into the background a little bit more, I did just say that I don't speak to my mother. Um, and I did say that I believe my mother is bipolar as well. So we never really had a relationship um, from memories and stories and pictures and things like that. Like I bounced back and forth for a while, you know, through different family members. Um, she wasn't an affectionate person. Uh, every time I seemed to be happy, there was always something that she would try to do to destroy or bash it. Um, she would basically lie to my family, make it seem like I was like the worst mom in the world, or I was abusing her, or I was a horrible daughter. Um, I would never ask her for anything. I'd rather die. I'd rather die than ask her for something. Um, unless it, my kids were really, really needed it and I had no other means of getting it that would be the only way because anytime I had to ask for anything when I was younger it was always thrown in my face like and I got abused with so many things from wires to chairs to anything that you can think of like it was crazy um so, so I also have PTSD um because of my mom and the things that I had to deal with um so yeah, so that's why I say I don't have a support system. Uh, my mom, I'm the type of person that I stay to myself. Um, it's not that I'm not, I am social and I'm not social, but I do stay to myself. My theory is my life is my life. If I choose to share it with you, which this is why I said that this is so out of my comfort zone, because I have a handful of people who I share anything that has to do with my life and to be honest with you some of them don't even know about the things that I just said right now or whatever may come out of my mouth down the line um because it's just things that you don't want to admit or you just don't want to deal with <sighs> so That is why I say that I am alone because my mom turned around and told people a lot of things and because I'm a person who does not communicate like that and I stay to myself and ever since my grandmother passed away it's like I've just been disconnected from the family it's like she was just the last string that had me attached to the family because honestly I never really felt like I belonged or I was a part like every memory that I can remember either my mother was arguing with somebody about something that had to do with me or one of my cousins or I mean, or something was happening, and I somehow always got the short end of the stick. I'm just gonna put it like that. And because of that, when a big old falling out between my mother and I occurred, everybody took her side. So I decided that in order for my kids and I to finally be happy and free, because I was only still in Connecticut to help my mom and to be there for her, was if we finally got away and broke free of the negativity of the abuse the mental physical everything that i endured and things that i didn't even know my kids were enduring um and left and finally said i'm going to live for me and my children and i felt like she knew how to keep me hostage she knew how to bring me down she knew how to how to get to me and she had me in a really dark place for a very long time a very long time and the 
this is the first time in a very long time that I'm beginning to feel like I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like the fight that I am enduring is soon to be over and I'm going to be showered with so many blessings and my kids are finally going to have the blessings that I've wanted for them. Um, rambling on here because I, I don't really have a game plan on exactly how I want to do this YouTube channel. Um, I really don't have a game plan on how I'm going to provide information or conversations. I just figured I would hop on and share some things with you guys and if it called you then you can leave a comment and we can chit chat I can upload you know videos um to answer back whatever or whatever the case may be but um please understand that mental illness is serious and also please understand that especially during this COVID-19 thing for households who have children who have mental illness and for a parent who has mental illness and dealing with children who have mental illness and being stuck and quarantined or in the house it's it's been a fight it's been struggle it's been a really hard struggle it has <sighs> one that um i need to finally have over soon but please take into consideration that joke it's not a game we struggle and we just smile and a smile may not cost anybody much energy a smile may not cost anybody a lot but for a person like me a smile can leave you worn out especially when you're not feeling it and it can leave you so drained so drained anyways on that note please don't mind my crazy hair I just figured if I'm going to be raw with my emotions and my feelings and I'm going to be real, then however I look at that moment and on that day, then that will just be what you will see. Um, I'm very transparent and I'm going to be very transparent. So, with makeup, without makeup, love me, don't love me. Hair tins, no hair tins. Hair done, hair not done. Whatever, the matter, take me or leave me. Join, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm not here for financial gain. I can definitely use it because Lord knows I can definitely use it. But I'm not here for financial gains. I'm here because I feel like there's other people out there like me that need the help that I can't find. You never know. Maybe a support group can come about this. Maybe good bonds with others that have the same similar situation can come from this. I don't know. I just hope something amazing comes from it because I feel like I can do a lot. Do a lot with helping others. And that's all I really care about. So this is my first video. It was done on the whim because I definitely did not have it planned. I'm new at this budgeting thing that I told myself I'm definitely going to buy a car because I need one and I need to get my um, ish together. And I put it in my planner, right? Because I've been telling myself for like a month now, oh, I'm going to do the YouTube channel. You know, my, like, my daughter's godmother is like, oh, that's a good idea. And I'm like, but what am I going to talk about? No, I can't do it. And then I'm telling my cousin, I'm going to do the YouTube channel. And they're like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm like, what am I going to do about it? And I know I want to do it about mental health illness and like me and my kids and my life and my story because maybe I can help others and like, but my thing is like, how am I supposed to do this? Like my house is a freaking disaster because my two year old and my 11 year old be all over the place. I don't have a camera like that unless I use my phone camera that can allow me to, you know, bring you guys into my world a little bit more. But I think I need to y'all a little bit before I could bring y'all all the way in you know what I mean <laughs> y'all could please strangers to me <laughs> anyways I'm playing but um I did put in my calendar because like I said I'm into this budgeting thing so I'm into the budget mom thing and the life um life in envelopes I love her too so I did up there I don't know if 
you can read it. Hold on. Oh, come on, camera. Okay, well, my little scratchy, scratchy handwriting, which, because I didn't write it tonight, it says YouTube channel launch date. So that is the date. January 18th. Actually, read it. I apologize. I'm still new to all of this. January 18th is the date that I wanted to use to that I had wanted to use to launch this YouTube channel. And the reason why I wanted to pick that date is because that's actually the date that my abuelo passed away, and he was the only person that ever made me feel like I was human and real and had emotions and mattered and was loved and was special. And I wanted to do that. But for some reason, sitting here right after work, I just had this urge to create this video. So I decided I'm just going to start going with the flow with my instincts a little, a lot more. Thanks to Shanetta Divisions. Who, um, Shanetta Visions, sorry. Apologize for the error on the name. Um, who have been watching a lot and got into our manifestation video and <sighs> have cleansed a few things. Not cleansed a few things, but I've let go of a couple of negativities that um, have allowed me to be more free. And I decided to just go with the wing and listen to the spirits. So I'm putting this video up. I do hope that you guys actually like it. Um, I know everybody asks you to like their video and subscribe to the channel and things like that. If you feel compelled to like my video, that is your choice. If you feel compelled to subscribe, that is also your choice. I will not push anybody to do so. I just hope that whatever message you do happen to listen to on that day, I hope that it assists, it helps you in any way necessary, or if this channel is not for you, but you know somebody else who this channel may assist, may help, may support, may give hope, may help them realize they're not the only ones that are struggling and they can actually open up and use their voice, then by all means, please share it with them because that is exactly what I am here for. And call it a night because my 18 year old was be making dinner since I had to work because I work from home I worked in my pajamas sure did I worked in my pajamas 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 yes 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 but anyways um I'm gonna try to get at least in the beginning one video a week um I barely get to put on my blog page and barely get to put on my Facebook page uh for the single life um i don't think i put much on there because i like to write but sometimes my adhd kicks in and it's like i don't want to write no more can't i just tell y'all what i want to say <laughs> then i remember it's a blog and i kind of can't i mean technically i can't on the facebook one but i can't on the the wordpress but the Facebook one, I don't really share it much out there because when I kind of created it, well, technically, when I created this um, blog and this Facebook page, um, I was in a really bad, dark place. Really bad. I had just walked away from the baby's father. Um, we had nowhere to stay. The location that we were staying at was not um was not safe anymore for us uh, mentally and physically, and I had to just breathe. And at the time, I thought I was making the best decision for my family. I just figured I'll walk away from Dad. Um, I will allow him to make his mistakes, live his life because he's younger than me. Um, and then down the line, you know, we never know. Uh, but things didn't work out that way. It was taken in a different aspect and things went south. So it was a really dark space for me because now I'm in a whole new state that I don't know anybody but like one or two people. And technically, I had nobody in reality. Um, I was still dealing with my postpartum depression. That was really bad. I was dealing with my suicidal thoughts and they were getting really, really, bad so that's when I ended up in a psychiatric ward and then I had to I realized I had to leave the 
the location we were staying at because it was just not, it wasn't going to work. Um, and my kids need their parent. Like I said before, all three kids have a different dad, so all they have is me. Um, so I was in a really dark place. I was trying to process a lot of a lot of different emotions, and then I was dealing with a new medication, and then I was trying to process the oh I don't have any more racing thoughts anymore. I can actually think and not interrupt my thoughts, which is something kind of weird. I'm just not accustomed to that. So I was in a really dark place when I did it, and I did it more as I need to vent, but. I don't want the people that I know to know how I feel. I'm ashamed of people knowing how I feel because it makes me very, very vulnerable. And I'm a Sagittarius, but I love very hard and I'm very, very protective of those that I love. And I will give you the shirt off my back and go hard for whoever I love. Um, but yeah, so I was in a really dark place and I just needed to vent and I didn't want to vent to those that I knew because it makes me feel like it changes their perspective of me even though I know I'm not supposed to feel that way but I know it has probably something to do with my condition but it just makes me feel like it changes their perspective of me and I don't like that so because of that I created the blog but I think I did it first as the Facebook page I don't remember I just know I didn't really open it up to a lot of people. Like, I only shared it to some. There's really not much um, activity on there unless I write something on WordPress. But maybe I can actually pick it up. I want to be able to create a community where we can all support each other, be there if somebody's having a mental crisis and they can't talk to somebody, you know, reach out in a group and, and have that person be there for you. That is my goal. This is the plan that I would like to do at the same time with, you know, maybe talking about some budgeting here. How how are you coping and dealing with your budgeting skills? Because we all know that we, that those who have mental health issues see things differently, can deal th with things differently than um, those who don't. And for those who don't know, yes, we struggle in a lot of aspects. But it doesn't mean that we're bad at it. It's just, it depends on how our con condition is functioning for that time frame. Um, I have to switch up the way I do things every so often because my OCD starts to get worse. And then I have to go based off of that. Or what may work for me this week all of a sudden may switch next week and may not work. Which makes it very difficult for my kids and I. And it makes like all of us crazy. So now that's why I said I'm starting to do the whole let's plan like the budget mom said trying to get everything on track and creating my own little planner and I have a really horrible budget because like I said I'm a single mom I only get paid ten dollars an hour do not make big bucks I have to kill myself just to be able to have all the bills covered um and rarely have anything left over but I feel like I'm still rambling even though I said I was going to end this channel, but for some reason I felt like I needed to tell you guys all of that. So if you subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. If you like the video, I would greatly appreciate it as well. And if you don't know hard feelings, I mean to each their own. But if you do know somebody that this may touch, please by all means share it with them. Um, I have my email attached. <sighs> That's about it. I will try to come up with a schedule and you know if you guys think my video was trash, let me know. <laughs> or if there's anything you want to ask me, let me know. Um, but until I can get the hang of all this, I will just be doing some raw newbie YouTube videos. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> I hope you guys have a nice night.